Startups, being young companies that are founded by entrepreneurs to develop a unique product or service, are valuable for economic growth. This walk on the streets of Abakaliki, the Boeing State Capital, is to bring this important message home to the people as civil society and the Boeing State Government call on the National Assembly and relevant agencies to support the bill aimed at protecting startups in the country. This bill is not pioneered, uh, pioneered at the state level, it's pioneered at the national level. What we are doing is a solidarity support that we are comfortable with the ideas. This is Nigerian startup bill. And this bill is still at the stakeholders' level. And what we are doing is an engagement at various states. This is a boring fashion. And what, what I'm calling for is what I expect, my expectations of what, what I expect to be in the bill, what I expect the bill to achieve when eventually it's passed to law. And I also want this opportunity to, to, to call on the National Assembly to give this bill a support. With the low level of growth sustainability in the startups ecosystem and the disconnect between the government and these businesses, there's been a need for a law that prioritizes the interests of entrepreneurs, investors, and other stakeholders. We are also advocating that when this bill comes, that there should be a gender lens to it, so that women, our artisans, most of, most of them that are women, should benefit from this. Because when we talk about uh, getting loans from banks, you, you and I know that women hardly get these loans because of some lacunas or some conditions attached to it. So we are saying that when this bill is coming, that there should also be a levy or a kind of a waiver for the women to enable them to access this bill. It is an initiative by a group of people who have looked into the bill and find out that there are some outdated laws that are not favorable to the young people coming up, especially the new graduates. So they're trying to bring in a bill that is going to be suitable for them. As they are coming out, if they want to be on their own, they can easily assess, fund, and uh, establish their business. The motive behind drawing attention to the issue is to enlighten the rest of the populace on the need to support the Nigerian Startup Bill. Hoping it receives the desired attention of the authorities, particularly the National Assembly, to be passed into law.